Hey, what's up everybody from the Wilderness Lodge here at Walt Disney World. I just took the boat over from Magic Kingdom to the dock at Wilderness Lodge. We're gonna go explore the resort, look at the restaurants, the shops, and the ground. Come on with me. Wilderness Lodge is one of those resorts that I've actually never stayed at. Jen and I have been over here. We did a Christmas video before. We've come over and gone to one of the bars before, but I've never really walked around the resort other than walk in the main lobby. This is one of those resorts I've always wanted to stay at and just never have. It just has never happened. So I'm going to be learning just alongside you today. Squirrel. Hey, Squirrelly. Oh, bye. So we're right out here at the Geyser. Uh, this is under refurbishment at the moment, so we're not going to be able to uh, show it today. But I'll try and go back and find some footage to insert right here. So from the Geyser, we turn. There's the kids' play area right here. We have the resort in the background. Over here on the left, we got Geyser Point. We'll go see that here in a little while. That's the bar grill. And then we have the pool. Okay, so over here is the activity center. And then uh, some restrooms. We're gonna walk over here to Geyser Point. Just go right along the water. So we were just back there by the pool. Looks like number 12. We went over there to the geyser, number 14, which is not operating. Number 15 says Salon by the Springs. I thought that was the activity center. We'll have to go back by there and check that out. Number 16 is the Geyser Point Bar and Grill where we just were. We are currently, you can see right here, right here. We're gonna head over into the Boulder Ridge section, which is the DVC side of Wilderness Lodge. So over here we have the boat and bike uh, rental place. This is all currently still closed right now. I don't know when they're gonna reopen it. it looks like they're rebuilding the dock down there. Across from me currently is Reunion Station. I had to actually look up and see what this was. I wasn't familiar with it. It was a community space for DVC members here at Boulder Ridge and Copper Creek Villas. It's not currently being used, it's closed. Evidently they had trouble attracting people to the space, but they used to do like wine tastings and photography classes, currently not being utilized. This is the Boulder Ridge Cove, which is the uh, DVC pool here at Wilderness Lodge. Little quieter pool. Right in front of us is the entrance to the second half of the Cascade Cabins. There's uh, 8,000, 8,012 on the far side, but this is 8,013 to 8,026. Here between cabin 8016 and 8017, there is a grill area, and this has a nice built-in gas grill that you can use. This is for exclusive use of the Cascade Cabin guests only. Oh, it looks like it's clean, nice. Big heavy lid, nice grill, with some trash and recycling here. So I'm at the furthest Cascade Cabin down. This is number 8,026. I will say this much, if I was paying as much as I know these cabins cost, I would not want to be down here at the end. Now, on the one side, you don't have neighbors on the one side of you, but it is a walk, it's a hike. And so to get anywhere, to the restaurants, to the main lobby, to the boat dock, it's a hike. So again, just know the closer you are to that 8,012, 8,013, the closer you're gonna to be to the main part of the resort. All right, well, I found the sports court. Very nicely maintained, looks like. There's also another area with some nice picnic tables. 
and a couple more grills. So it does appear that this section is being refurbished at the moment. I don't know if it's the entire building, but it'll definitely the bottom three floors. There is a refurb going on here at Boulder Ridge. Some of the rooms I believe are ready, but some of them uh, will not be completed until spring 2023. So not too much longer and you'll be able to stay here at these rooms. lobby of Boulder Ridge. So I've come out past the Port Crochet so you could sort of see what the entry looks like. So I'm sitting in a sofa here in the lobby, just trying to see if I can show you the, the scale of this place. I'm using a 16 millimeter lens here, and it's still not wide enough. From where we walked in the door, if you look immediately to the right, that is the check-in desk and bill of services along with the mercantile. And then on the left-hand side over here is Whispering Canyon Cafe. Not quite open, so we can't really go in. This has water flowing through it. It's currently empty uh, as part of the refurbishment. And it's got a little, little bridge that you can go across and then more seating right over here. This is the Territory Lounge. This is the lounge attached to Artist Point. So this has now become a uh, character meal. So behind me is Artist Point. Now this used to be the signature restaurant here at the Wilderness Lodge. I guess it still is. Um, but this restaurant has sort of transformed. It is now a character dining experience. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And it's more of a family restaurant than a fine dining restaurant. So the final place that we're gonna look at is the uh, Roaring Fork. This is the quick service here at Wilderness Lodge. So I asked the really nice DVC salesperson over here to explain to me what the difference between all the three sections were. So this is how he explained it to me. As you walk into the main building, the right hand side is Copper Creek. The left hand side of the building is the regular Wilderness Lodge. And then the separate building like we discovered earlier is Boulder Ridge. So two sections of DVC Copper Creek is still in the main building, Boulder Ridge is separate. And then the left hand side of the resort is the just standard wilderness launch. cool is most of these like levels they have these little seating areas that are off to the side another little seating area 
Oh, the fireplace. Yep, it's on. Well, I thought I was going up there, but this is the concierge level, Old Faithful Club guest only beyond this point. All right, so that's gonna do it today from the beautiful Wilderness Lodge. We looked at the restaurants, we didn't get to dine in any. Jen and I have it on our list to come stay here. Thank you as always for coming along with me here. And as always, if never lost and never found, so go get lost.